Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we are back with episode two of season two of the Monster Cat Guessing Game. For those of you that did not watch last episode, I would encourage you to go back and watch Play Along. The way this works is we are going to listen to the first five seconds of 15 random Monster Cat songs. I'm shuffling the entire discography from Monster Cat's discography playlist on Spotify. So we're gonna get anything of their almost 3,000 songs in the playlist. And we only have five sec. Well, you get to hear five seconds of the song, and then you got a couple of couple seconds after to guess what that's going to be. The way it works is you get one point for guessing the song correctly, and one point for guessing the artist correctly. So you can also guess if it's a remix, you just have to get the original name of the song. So if it's a VIP or something, you just have to get the original song, uh, title, and artist. Any artist on the track, vocalists not quite included. So like last episode, there was AU5 and Fractal. Uh, if you guessed AU5 or Fractal, you just get one. Point. If you guess both, you just did a good job. You'd still get one point for a total of 30 possible points. Uh, but before we get into the, this episode, let's uh, talk about last episode. Uh, I thought I did pretty good, but a decent amount of you beat me. I got 15 points perfectly down the middle. Uh, and the average points that you guys got from the YouTube comments last episode was 12 and a half perfectly on the dot. Uh, the highest points came from Monster Cat, who got 30 of 30. Uh, but other than Monster Cat, Eshiro was the next highest to get 27 out of 30, which is insane. I don't know how you guys did that. Uh, I've been practicing a little bit more, not gonna lie, uh, and just and just seeing what I can do. And it, I, I think I fluked. I think I got a fluke first run. Um, that was it was insane to try to get the next ones. I, I just couldn't. I couldn't get like even two or three in a row. So, whew, Okay. Uh, without any further ado. Let's uh, get into it. I'm 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 excited. I'm I'm really really intrigued to see how well how well we do this time around. But uh, here we go. Track number one. Oh, oh I'm also gonna have a ticker uh, above this time so you can see uh, what song we're on and uh, how many points I've scored. So here we go. Track number one. Okay. So, before me spoiling it for you, uh, before me spoiling what my opinions are right away, pause the video, take your guess, and then come back. So take your time to pause, take your guess. Okay, I think it's Televisor, I'm pretty confident about it. My guess is it's within the uh, the Find That Someone EP, was it called Find That Someone EP? Um, with Find That Someone, Dia, uh, Deluxe, and what was the last song? So I think it's one of those four tracks I want to say deluxe, but I think, I think deluxe actually started differently. I think it went dun 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 dun. dun, dun. So my guess is actually going to be Dia. I think I'm going to go with Dia. So that is my final answer. I'm locking it in. Televisor Dia. It is. I was wrong. It's Rescue Me by Insane Like and featuring Johnny Rose. Shoot. Dang it. I knew that song. I really did know that song, but I. Uh... <laughs> Uh, nope, did not do well there. So, zero points, zero points for me. Oh no, this is gonna start so bad. I can tell already. That is, uh, that is not what I wanted to to get off the first bat. I thought I had that. I was like, oh, this is televisor, easy, no question. But uh, I was, I was clearly wrong. So, yikes. Uh, let's hop into the second track right now. Have you ever looked in the audience and seen something that makes you laugh? Yes. I, take your guesses, <laughs> take your guesses, pause the video, take a guess. I have not a clue. I have not a clue. I feel like this is one of the ones where you know it or you don't. It's a, it's a, one of those where you, you've heard the intro and you either know it 100% or you just, you don't. I, I feel like this is a tough one to just guess out of the blue. Um, but I'm going to have to do that here because I got no idea. I, I feel like if I really listened to the song, I would know because it, it, that feels like such a distinct intro, uh, to a track. So frick, I'm just going to go with, I feel like it's a newer song cause I, I haven't listened to it. I don't know the newer songs as well as I know some of the older tracks. So... I honestly have no idea. I genuinely don't know what to do. Uh, I, I'm trying to even think about who to guess. Uh, I, 
<laughs> don't want to say Stone Man because I feel like it's so bad, but I think I, I know all the Stone Man songs. Oh my gosh, I gotta I gotta guess something. I gotta guess something here. Um, let's just go with Cage. Why not? Sen 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 Puk, whatever that song is called, some Puku or whatever. Um, uh, I I know it's not, but why the frick not? I have no idea what it's gonna be. Uh, it is Coffee Black Feed Me. Yeah, I was never gonna get that. Shoot. Yeah, I. That I, f- I feel like it's just one of the ones you know or one of the ones you don't, and I just I didn't and I didn't. So I I didn't listen to that that song quite at all really. So. Oh for four. Uh, here is our next song. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm glad. I'm gonna get some points here. I'm gonna get some points here. But uh, pause the video. Take your guess. Take your guess. What is it? Uh, I am going to take my guess now. Uh, I believe this is "Tumbling Down" by uh, Sue Andreas, and I think it's Inverness. Uh, but I'm just gonna say Sue Andreas, "Tumbling Down." Um, the correct answer is Super Andreas and Inverness tumbling down. Okay. Tumbling down. Okay. I'm, I'm happy. I got some points. I got, <laughs> I actually did something. I'm two for six now. I've got two points. Uh, Ooh, that was, I feel like those first two were doable. They weren't bad. They were doable. So uh, here we go. Track number four. Okay, take your guesses. Take your guesses. I'm gonna, yeah, pause the video, take your guess. I'm gonna guess right now. I think it's, I think it's Conroe's newest song, Just Wanna Love. Or I Just Wanna Love. I, I realize I'll be a little lenient. Like if you say it's Just Wanna Love and it's like, I just wanna love um, or just gonna love or something like that, I'm, I, you can get the point. It's, I would not need to be that exact. Um, but I think it's Conroe, I think it's Just Wanna Love. I just want to love, just want to love. Just want to love, I think is my guess. So that's my guess. Locking it in, Conroe, just want to love. Just want to love, Conroe in fat. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling a little better. I've got uh, half the points now, a possible four of eight. Um, that one feels like, I feel like that one, I feel like you guys can get that one. Uh, that, that's Conroe's newest track. It's, it's fairly new. Um, so, okay. We're headed into the... Fifth track, I uh, have four points of a possible eight right now. Uh, Here we go, track number five. Okay, put your guesses in. Put your guesses in. Pause the video if you don't, if you you need more time. I am going to guess uh, Varian's Valkyrie 3. Uh, Lacuna, I think is the, no, no, Atonement. It's Atonement. Valkyrie 3 Atonement. Um, Lacuna is the first, uh, the first one didn't have an actual official name. Second was Lacuna and then third was Atonement. So I'm going to say this is Valkyrie 3 Atonement. Um, I'm quite confident with that. I'm quite confident. So I'm going to lock that in, lock it in Valkyrie 3 by Varian. I am correct. Valkyrie 3 by Varian. Uh, fantastic track. Um, I love the Valkyrie, um, trilogy. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just happy I'm getting more points. I had a bad start, bad start, but I'm coming back. I'm coming back, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, excited, okay. Here we go, headed into the sixth track. Uh, if you're perfect right now, you would have 10 points. Uh, so let's see. And I think there's definitely people that have that are perfect at this point. Um, I think, yeah, Feed Me and, and uh, Rescue Me are, are quite doable, I think. So uh, here is track number six. Put your guesses in. Put your guesses in. Or pause the video. I'm gonna guess now. I think this is Slushies Alone. Oh, sorry, Marshmallows Alone. I think this is a remix. Um, so I think I think this is a remix of of 
of alone, of marshmallows alone. So if I, if it is alone, I can just say alone and get the points if it's a remix. I'm gonna guess the Luca Lush remix. I can't quite remember all of them. There was quite a few, uh, but that's gonna be my guess. I'm gonna say alone by marshmallow. I was exactly correct. Come on. Like, that's just, whoo, 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 whoo. alone, Luca Lush. Uh, perfect score there, marshmallow. I'm doing well. Okay, I'm, I feel like I've gotten a lot luckier um, with this round than my practice because I'm four in a row now for a total of eight points. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm doing well. I'm excited. Uh, here we go. Track number seven. Wow. Okay, uh, put your guesses in. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, pause the video, take your guess. My assumption is this is a really old Monster Cat song. This is like two, three era. Um, so much so that I'm gonna guess this is uh, Halo Nova, which is old Varian, Varian's old alias. I want to say Triceratops. Is that a is that a track from Halo Nova? Or is that a Stephen Walking one? I'm gonna say Halo Nova Triceratops. I just that's the first old school song that came to my mind that was like this kind of style that was a little more dubstepy. But uh, we will see. Uh, that is my final answer. Halo Nova Triceratops. Correct answer is oh, Insomnia, the Fiji Ouija remix or the F seven seven remix by Fiji Ouija. That screwed me over like crazy. Um. Yikes. That one was tough. That one was very tough. That <laughs> I've listened to a ton of Fiji. And so that's why that threw me off because it was that remix. And so remixes can be tough. They can be, they can be really tough. Sometimes they're easier, like maybe alone was, but, um, dang, that sucked. I think it's <laughs> yikes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on to track number eight. If you were at your max points right now, you'd have 14 and I have 18. Uh, so here we go, track number eight. Uh, okay, put your guesses in, put your guesses in. Pause the video. I have not a clue. I feel like I should know. I feel like this is a newer track that I just haven't listened to a ton. And I just don't know it because of that. Shoot. Yeah, I'm, uh, this one is not ringing any bells off the bat. I'm, I can't think of any artists to even think of off the bat. Um, I guess one of this, I'm going to say randomly the Dirty Phonics Vantablack EP. I just feel like it kind of has that somewhat track, so style. So is it, I'm going to say Hammer. <laughs> I just, I guess that one's before, uh, but Hammer, Vanta Black, or Hammer by uh, Dirty Phonics. Is that even the right artist for that song? I'm not even sure. Um, oh gosh, the Stay Phase One remix by Delta Heavy and Dirty Audio. Gosh, that is tough. Getting the remixes with what, three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back remixes is tough. Remixes are really hard. So, dang, now we're just getting, getting unlucky, I guess, in some aspect, so. Uh, here we go, our ninth track. You have... Okay, uh, <laughs> put your guesses in. Uh, what do you guys? What do you guys think? Put your uh, guesses in. Um, that is my uh, one of my favorite Monster Cat songs of all time. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, that is Wishes by Grant, uh, is my final lock-in guess, uh, and let's just make sure we're correct. We are definitely correct, Grant and McCall. Um, fanta fantastic song, one of my favorites, uh, instantly iconic. Um, I would be shocked if, or I wouldn't be surprised if like 95% of you got that one. Um, just because if you've been around for at least some time, because this was a 2019 song, I want to say, uh, this one is like an iconic Monster Cat track. So um, if you've been around for any decent amount of time, I think you'll be able to get that one for sure. So uh, Grant's Wishes. Yeah, that's a easy gimme point. So uh, hopefully you got some of those. Uh, here we go. Next track. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, put your guesses in. Pause the video. What do you think it is? I'm gonna start guessing now. Uh, so I'm quite certain this is Hush, uh, the artist Hush. The only question is, what song is it? Because um, it, it's the the song is "That's the Way the Party Goes," and there's only two songs I can remember. The problem is they're all in different language. Um, there's like Inhorn and Room Tivart or whatever how to say it. Uh, and I know it's not Inhorn, uh, and so I'm pretty sure it's Room Tivart. I'm probably butchering those those titles so poorly, uh, but. I'm going to say it's Reem Reem Tuvart or whatever you, however you want to say that. I'm trying to think of even other titles. I can only think of those two. I mean, obviously there's Fopsbound or Fopsbean, but I know it's not that one either. So I'm going to say Reem Reem Tuvart. I got to stop saying it. So that's my final guess. Hush Reem Tuvart. Oh, it's Vonk. It's Hush Vonk. Shoot, I I had a suspicion I wasn't actually I wasn't actually right on it, but uh, I got one point. I got one point for guessing Hush. Um, I should have should have known. I should have known that one, I think, for sure. So I'm at 11 points of a possible 20 right now. So let's see if I can break my previous record of 15. Uh, here we go. This is track 11. Five more to go. Yes, so the people I know. Pegboard nerds, what's out of you lacking at this on? Um... Okay, so, uh, take your guesses. <laughs> what do you think that is? Uh, so this is Pegboard Nerds. Um, but I can't remember what song it is for some reason. I thought it was Watch Out at first, but Watch Out isn't by Pegboard Nerds. Oh, uh, Gunslinger. Yeah, Gunslinger. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Gunslinger. I'm pretty sure it's Pigboard Nerds Gunslinger. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock that in. Yeah, Gunslinger, Pigboard Nerds, uh, MC Moda, Feet MC Moda. Um, I thought it was. Uh, my initial thought was it was um, uh, Watch Out by the Dirty Phonics and Ragged Twins and I can't remember the last artist on that track. Um, but uh, I would have I would have genuinely guessed Watch Out unless uh, I I heard that. Pegboard nerds. So uh, that should have been at least a point because they said pegboard nerds. If you didn't get that, that sucks. That's a shame. So uh, I'm at 13 points. I just need two more to tie my record and we got four more songs. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, here we go. It's track number 12. Okay, get your guesses, put them in. Keeping me, keeping me down. Keep me, keep me, keep me. I'm not afraid. Gotta let it go. Oh, it's Butterfly Effect. Is it? Is it the title track? Is it Butterfly Effect? I I know it's Coven. I know it's Coven. I think it's Butterfly Effect. That's my guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Butterfly Effect Coven. Okay, the VIP. Okay, so the VIP, Butterfly Effect VIP, but that still counts as uh, that still counts as your as your point by just guessing Butterfly Effect. So uh, I have now tied my previous record, um, fifteen points of a possible twenty four with three tracks left. Three tracks left. How can we go in the finale? Uh, let's see, track number thirteen. Here we go. Miles of fire. Okay, get your guesses in. Get your guesses in. I know exactly what this is. Um, pause the video if you haven't. If you need to guess. My guess is uh, it is the Build the Cities Gravitz remix, originally by Karma Fields featuring Curly. That is my guess. Gonna lock it in. It is, in fact, that track. So um, that's a song that I've listened to a, a lot in the past. Uh, so I I would have been sh shameful if I didn't get that right. Um, but uh, wow, I'm getting lucky. I feel like I'm getting lucky. Maybe so. Part of this is like, if first of all, if you're if you're watching this video right now and you're like, I've got like no points. This sucks. Like I'm. How do you do this? Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Just hear me out. Don't feel bad. 
I have been listening to Monster Cat for almost, I think, eight years now. Uh, and there was a like five year stint where I was pretty much exclusively listening to Monster Cat. Um, so do not feel bad. I have a, a YouTube channel that talks a lot about Monster Cat. I, I'm i shocked that some of you guys beat me as much as you did. You guys listen to way more than I do, I guess. I've been branching out a little bit more uh, in the last couple years. But uh, yeah, don't feel bad if you're doing bad. Don't don't feel bad. Do not. So um, I I'm, I feel like I'm getting lucky. I feel like I'm getting lucky with some of these. Uh, some of these are like right up my alley and stuff that I uh, really know and, and really like. So uh, let's see if I can hit 20, though. Uh, we are at uh, a possible 26 points right now as a max. Uh, and I have 17. So I beat my record. Let's see if I can get 20. Uh, here is the second last track, number 14. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Uh, put your guesses in. Put your guesses in. So it's it's very piano heavy, obviously. Um, I don't know what it could be though. Is it is this the other prelude or is this outro from we had prelude last time? Is this outro? Um, that's what I'm gonna guess. It sounds similar to the one we had last episode of the intro from uh, the the prelude album. So, or the prelude. So I'm going to say this is outro uh, performed by Austin Refuse um, by Resonate. Uh, I'm going to say outro by Resonate. Uh, let's see what we got. That's my final guess. Oh, very wrong. Um, that one was tough. Uh, <laughs> we got another uh coven track it was the numb acoustic track uh yikes that one was tough you know in hindsight i just when you hear an acoustic track you should just guess coven because coven is like almost half of the acoustic tracks in the label so that would have been a smart strategic play in my part um that would have been smart but i did not do that uh okay uh, our final track of the episode let's go number 15 Wow. Okay. We're, we're hitting real shuffle here. Um, take your guesses, take your guesses, uh, lock them in pods video. I'm going to say that this is Coven. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it is. Uh, oh, it's shut my mouth. Um, it's shut my mouth by Coven. Uh, I think it might be one of the remixes. Did Reaper do a remix of shut my mouth. Um, regardless, I think it's, it shut my mouth by Coven that I'm locking it in. Uh, I am correct. It is the original. Uh, wow, two back to back. Uh, Coven. We had three tracks from Butterfly Effect. Uh, one from the acoustic, one from the uh, deluxe, and one from the original. Um, so, <laughs> all the <laughs> wow, that is tragic. Um, that is that is. I wouldn't say tragic, but that is quite the shuffle. Uh, quite quite the shuffle. I know Spotify shuffle isn't a pure shuffle, um, but uh, but still, that is that is something. So, uh, how did you guys do? I got fifth or 15, 19, 19 of twenty. I only missed eleven points. I'm feeling really happy about that. Uh, I think you guys can. There's be some more people that beat me this round. Um, some of the ones I feel like I should have got, I I didn't. Maybe early on. Um, I think I should have got maybe Vonk and should have got Rescue Me and Coffee Black, but, uh, that's, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's it. Um, episode two, season two of the Monster Cat Guessing Game. Let me know how you guys did in the comment section below. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.